Praise the Lord. How many glad to be back in the house this morning? Amen. Sanford Street last night and hear Brother Roger Sinners, amen, preach and uh, dedicate Sister Haley Kinslow and uh, ordain her into the Church of God as one of their evangelists, amen, last night. And I, I'll tell you what, he just he just plowed the corn and shook, he shook the corn while he was plowing. And I'll tell you, he preached awesome last night. And, and uh, I'll tell you what, we had a good time in the Lord here Thursday night, amen. Uh, I looked on the video uh, this morning, and we've had over 440 views already on Thursday night service. And I tell you what, it's just uh, amazing what God can do. Amen. Yeah. So let's just all stand this morning and let's invite God into this place and just have a let's just have a good old time in the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. Bless the heavenly Father, Lord God, as we come to you once again. God, we want to thank you, Lord God, for being our Savior. Lord God, we just want to thank you, God. Heavenly Father, for allowing us to be able to be back in your house this morning, God. And, and God, to be able to worship you this morning in spirit and in truth. And Heavenly Father, God, we just ask, God, you have your way in this service. Lord, not our will, but your will be done. And Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you for your presence that we can already feel. And what I felt this morning when I woke up. Heavenly Father, God, I just ask, God, you move upon the live stream this morning. God, I ask you to bless. I ask you to move and God touch each and every one that's here and touch them out their own live stream this morning. Heavenly Father, I ask you to move upon the other churches that's having church this morning. I pray you bless them, Lord. God, we thank you, God, that Brother Jimmy and them got to make it home safely last night. Heavenly Father, God, we just give you praise, glory, and honor for it. Oh, but God, we ask you to bless the singers today. God, bless those that sing. God, just have your way today, Lord. God, we thank you. We praise you. And God, we give you all the thanks and glory in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. 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 Page 15, when the road is called up yonder. When the drops fed out of the marsh, I sang the songs of the people.
God, I appreciate the Lord. Amen. How many appreciate the Lord this morning? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I tell you what, I appreciate him every morning. I wake up, Brother Morris. Amen. I'm glad to have Brother Morris back with us this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. I tell you, I appreciate the Lord. Amen. We, we uh, just can't thank him enough for what he does for us. Amen. I, I, I got on there and I looked at our website. Amen. And I seen people. Amen. That's just amazes me of how many people, amen, wants to be added to the church site. Amen. I, I, I watch and I, I make sure I pick the right ones, Brother Morris, because everything that wants to be added, they they want you to add this group, add that group, and this group, and that group, and some of the groups ain't what I want to add to the church site. Amen. It, don't, it, it ain't fitting to be added to the church site. Some people want you just to get you to add them, then they want to put all this other garbage on there, but amen, uh, I let God show me which ones to add, amen, he'll, he'll show me, amen, there's a lady in uh, Durham, North Carolina, amen, I asked the other morning to be added, amen, and I, I, I got on there and I got watching the profile, I went through there and I got watching some videos of their church services, and I'll tell you what, now they was having church, a little old country church, out in the sticks, amen, there in North Carolina, and I mean, they was... <laughs> Holiness women, I'm talking dressed up like the old time way, amen. And the men, amen, was dressed the old time way, and they were just having church, amen. And God said, There you go, Adam, amen. So I added that person, amen. We appreciate our live stream audience, amen. We appreciate everyone that, that uh, listens, amen. Uh, don't matter if you're not a Christian, amen. You want to be added to the church site, amen. I, if you ain't got cussing and stuff on there, amen, I'll add you, amen. You need to hear the word anyway, amen. That's what we're out to do. We're not out just to reach Christian people. We're out to reach the lost. Amen. I was reading in the word this morning, amen. God said you're supposed to go out and reach the lost, amen. There's lost souls out in here, amen. Uh, people said, well, Brother Miller, how, 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 uh, how don't you want to go overseas? I said, if God tells me to go, I'll go. Amen. But there's people in the United States of America that needs to hear the Word of God. Amen. There's people out here, amen, that don't know the Word of God. Amen. There's people that ain't been taught. I told the Lord this morning. I said, look, they're out here mowing yards. Amen. Or they're out on the boats fishing this morning. They're out on the golf course. Amen. I watched them yesterday out on the golf course and lightning struck. Amen. And several of them got hit on the golf course. Amen. God's no respecter of person. No matter where you're at, amen. If, if he wants to uh, strike you right out here in this parking lot, he can strike you right out here in this parking lot. But it's how you're living your life. Amen. We're, we're, we're wanting to see souls saved. Amen. I, I'd like to see the church full of Christian people, but I'd rather see them full of lost souls. Amen. I'd rather see some lost souls come in and get saved. Amen. And we can teach them the Word of God. Amen. And give I was reading about the mill last night, Brother Wayne, how a lot of people still want just to be on the milk. Amen. They, they desire the zerning of the milk. Amen. They just seem to be on the milk and be on the strong meat of the word. Amen. But you can only feed them milk so long, and then you got to give them that meat. you got to give them something to chalk down on. Amen. And I, I tell you what, I, I, I was glad when he said, let us go into the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. Amen. I was excited to be in the house of the Lord this morning. Amen. Uh, tell you how the Lord works. Amen. I love those white Twitch candy bars. And uh, I got one the other night, and I ate a half of it, and I got sicker than a dog. And I thought, well, why did that make me sick? <laughs> Well, this morning, I was, after I got done reading the Bible, I thought, man, I need something sweet. I said, well, I didn't buy me no pecan spin. So I thought, wow, there's that Twix bar. I'll finish eating that. I took two bites off that Twix bar, and I got sick. My stomach just started bothering me. I thought, man, I said, Lord. So I woke up about 6.30, I woke up. And I, had, I said, man, I got to go to the bathroom. I went to the bathroom, and I was sitting there, and 
And I said, Lord, I said, if you don't want me to eat no more of those Twix bars, I won't eat no more. And the Lord said, don't eat no more. So guess what? I threw the rest of it in the trash can when I come out of the bathroom. I threw it in the trash can. I said, okay, Lord, I won't eat it no more. Amen. And, uh, but it got to where I go to Walmart, I'm going to buy one. Every time I go through the line, I grab it one. But uh, God said no more, so I'm not eating no more. Amen. I don't, I don't have to feel that way. But I, I, I'm here today to worship the Lord. I'm here to see what God's got in store for us. Amen. I'm, I'm, uh, I've been excited since Thursday night. I've, I had somebody tell me last night, said, we've been watching your live stream, and we really, really enjoy your live stream. And I said, well, that's, just, that's why I had my wife to add me to the Facebook so I can pull up the church live streams. I said, well, I, I really appreciate that. He said, we enjoy it. I said, yes, you get to watch Thursday night. He said, no. I said, man, we had a move of God in here Thursday night. I said, people was crawling on the floor. He said, oh, my, that's old time. He said, that's what I had to do. He said, when the Lord called me to preach, he put me down on my knees and made me crawl from the back of the church to the front of the church. I said, hey, I remember that one. <laughs> Amen. And, uh, but I got good news. Amen. One of the, our needs that we had in our prayer request box, amen, uh, Brother Billy Kinslow's son, Billy Wayne, got back in church, amen, got, got right with the Lord, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. I tell you what, God is, God is moving, amen. He stood up last night and he was testifying. He said, all I can say is I thank Jesus. I thank him for what he done for me, amen. God brought him a long way. Amen. God really had to get him down to the point where he had to get him where he needed him. Amen. Sometimes God has to get us down to where we need to be. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, I tell you, I just appreciate the Lord this morning. Let's go to the Lord in prayer this morning. Anybody got a prayer request this morning? Want to mention? Somebody else this morning. Somebody else. Yes, amen. Brother Morris got some good news. Amen. Real good news. Amen. And I tell you, I'm still waiting for the rest of it. Amen. Hallelujah. Also remember uh, Brother uh, Keith Patrick. I mean, Brother Matt Patrick. Amen. Remember Brother Danny. I don't know if he's still in the Bible, Brother Rogers or not, but remember him. Amen. Uh, remember Brother Jackie Stamps, man, amen. Uh, Brother Jackie still needs our prayers. Amen. And, uh, remember uh, Brother Morris over at Brother uh, Rogers Church, amen. He uh, needs our prayers also, amen. He's got his grandkids now. They uh, gave them to them. Amen. But he needs our prayers. Uh, 
Amen. He said he would he would just pat them on the back and say, Oh, it's okay. <laughs> oh, me. I tell you what, now that's the kind of preaching I like. Right. Amen. That's the kind I like to sit under. Amen. Because that's what I was taught. That's what I said under Brother Bill Kinslow. I I sat under him and Brother Jackie Stamps and Brother Danny Small. And I'll tell you what, those three men right there plowed the corn. Amen. And they told you how to live right. Amen. Hallelujah, Brother Bill Perry. Amen. I uh, remember I was thinking yesterday how me and Junior went over there and helped him build them Sunday school rooms. Amen. Junior handed me that block the wrong way. I told him down there and I put her on there and they just left it. They didn't even have me to change it. Amen. Then we had to fill them hose up with water. But, amen. But they gave it to me the wrong way, Brother Morris. <laughs> but we built it, didn't we, Junior? Amen. We got up on that roof. Amen. Brother Bill said, I know y'all too would help. But we did, amen. We stuck with him. But I was thinking about that, amen. We, we've done a lot, amen. We've done a lot, amen, for the Lord, amen. I helped Brother Jimmy Wilson out there, me and Brother Wayne out there at uh, Shepherd's House, amen. From the ground up, amen. We helped put the first wall up, didn't we? Amen. We pushed that first wall up, amen. We helped him, amen. We, we done all the work on the inside, amen. We took some criticism, but we still done it, amen. The guy that was doing the sheetrock, amen, he didn't like it because I got on to it, amen. He called Robert Humphrey Pillsbury Doughboy and called me bug-eyed. Bug-eyed hypocrite. That's what he called me, amen. And uh, I said, well, I said, that's all right. I said, but if you don't do your job, we ain't going to keep you around here, amen. He put it on us to have to tell him. Amen. And after we told him, he went right out behind him. Amen. He said, oh, don't leave, don't leave. We got to get the job done. He said, well, I'll come back in there as long as Pills, Pillsbury Doughboy and Bug Eye Hypocrite don't bother me. He said, I'll work. Amen. He come back and he got in there and he come in. And I told him, I said, if you're going to stay here, you better be here. You better stay here until you get the job done. Amen. And we went about doing our business. Amen. And when it come time for us to paint, Brother Morris, we start to paint. We was going to put the trim around the bottom of the wall. And I, we shot him with the nail gun and nail went plumb through the trim. I said, what happened here? The trim wasn't even sticking to the wall. I thought, something ain't right. We got looking. He took and stretched the tape across this much. He had she sheet that much off of the floor. And he took tape and went all the way around it and muddied that tape. And we were shooting that that trim ran there and it was just nails was going to do it. So we had to redo it. Amen. But God, God moves. Amen. I, I, I thought about stuff like that. Amen. What we've done to help God's kingdom. Amen. And, uh, but let's pray for everybody. Amen. This morning, pray for all the churches. Amen. That's having service this morning. Brother Jimmy and Ann. Amen. They're probably jet lagged. Amen. But he still said, I'm going to church this morning. He's here. Uh, Brother Allen and all them, amen. They all have church, Sister Cookie Morgan and all them. So. Remember Addie? Remember Addie, she's still there. Remember Addie this morning, amen. Remember Gavin, amen. He uh, took on a new job, amen, and they're uh, making him uh, all the beer and stuff around and put it in the stores. And I told him that's what they could do. I said, no, you better make sure that's what you want to do. I said, because that's what they're going to make you do.
but uh, pray for her, amen. Uh, I hate seeing her that way. I hate seeing her not being able to get up and walk, amen. It's bothering her. The devil's tormenting her, talking to her, amen. And that's when he comes at you when you're really down. That's when he wants to hit you, amen. But she pressed on and came to the house of God this morning. So let's remember uh, Brother uh, Larry's fallen son, amen. And Brother, Jack, uh, Brother Mike Schroen and his kids, amen. They need to be saved also. Amen. God's still doing it. Amen. He's uh, brought Billy Wayne back in. Amen. He prayed Brother Mike Strong's kids in and Brother Larry's father's son. Amen. So remember that. Remember also Brother Danny's father also. Amen. Anybody else got a prayer request before we go to the morning prayer? Amen. Remember Junior. Amen. Remember Doug also. Amen. I had him on my mind this week. Amen. So let's remember him. That, amen. He'll get in church. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, remember that. Also remember Sister Connie's friend, Emmy. Amen. Uh, she needs our prayers. Amen. And Sister Lisa Van Meter, amen. They, uh, she told no one that she, uh, they were supposed to come back over here and visit, be in church with us. Amen. So pray for them. Amen. She really needs to touch up. She had bell policy. Bell policy, amen. God healed her. Amen. On the right side, and amen. I hit her on the left side, amen. I had heard how she's going down. But remember her and got good good news from Sister Sandy. Cruz, amen. The, the doctor said she's like IMS now, amen. Ain't that good? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's praise reports, church. Amen. That's praise reports. Amen. And I thank God for that. Also remember uh, Brother Kevin Payne. He asked for us to pray for him. Amen. So let's remember him also. Unspoken quest by lift up your hand. Also remember that cop, amen, that was in Ohio that got shot in the head. He died. They, met, they said on Fox News he died, amen. He's got three little children and a wife, amen, that, that's not going to have a daddy. The kids ain't going to have a daddy now. And, and uh, the wife ain't going to have a husband no more, amen. It's, it's bad, amen. We need to pray for all of our cops, amen. They've got a target on them now. Amen. And they're not just trying to shoot them in the chest now because they know they got them best is all they're aiming for their heads. Amen. And they're aiming for the kill spots. Amen. So let's remember our cops. Amen. Remember our president. Amen. They're over there. I don't know if any of y'all watched the news this morning. Amen. But he, he done something good this morning for the United States of America. Amen. He made a trade with Japan. Amen. A good trade. Amen. And, uh, a lot of people says it never would happen, but it did, amen. And, uh, I look for a lot of things to happen this week. I do. I look for a lot of things to start happening. So let's pray for him that God will give him the wisdom to use over there while he's there in that Sunday, amen. Let's all come around the altar and pray or pray at your seat.
try to pull Hayden West off the course. Coming up October the 4th. Amen. 
amen. Uh, it's on a Friday night, so man, this church will be packed out Friday night, amen. If we have to, and it's nice out, we just put chairs outside. We'll have it outside out there in the parking lot, amen. It don't bother me, amen. We'll just fill it up right out there, and everybody get to hear them sing, amen. We'll, we'll blast it. And it on a hill, it'll go all over, amen. Uh, man, there's no ordinance out here. So we can have this life as we want. Amen. So uh, remember that. Amen. So that's all out of the way. Amen. I'm going to have Sister Bonnie and Sister uh, Brother Michael come up here and sing for us. Amen. Uh, <laughs> it's Brother Michael. Amen.
Amen. Amen. Brother Moore, say amen. He's going to come and sing us a good one. Yeah. 
Let's give the Lord a big hand clap of praise. Amen. 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 God say amen. Amen. Acts chapter 26. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. And Paul stretched forth the hand and answered for himself. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself to stay before thee. Touching all these, all the things were I am accused of the Jews, especially because I know thee to be expert in all customs and questions which are coming, which are among the Jews. Wherefore I beseech thee to hear me patiently. My manner of life from my youth, which was at the first among my own nation of Jerusalem, known all the Jews, which knew me from the beginning, if they were would testify that after the most greatest sect of our religion I live the Pharisee. And now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of God unto our fathers, unto which promise our twelve tribes instantly serving God day and night hope to come. For which hopes sake King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. Why should it be thought a thing incredible to you that God should raise the dead. I verily thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazarene, which thing I also did in Jerusalem. And many of the saints did I shut up in prison, having received authority from the chief priests. And when they were put to death, I gave my voice against me, 
And I punished them off in every synagogue and compelled them to blaspheme and bring a seemingly mad against them. I persecuted them even unto strange cities. Whereupon as I went to Damascus, Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests. Oh, at midday, O king, I saw in a way a light from heaven above the brightest of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard, heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecute thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecuted. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things which in the, which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes, to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and, and inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not diso disobedient unto the heavenly power, but showed first unto them of Damascus and in Jerusalem, and throughout all the coast of Judea, and then to the Gentiles, that they should repent and turn to God and do works meant for repentance. For this caused the Jews Jews caught me in the temple and went about to kill me. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continued unto this day witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophets of Moses did say should come. Then Christ, that Christ should suffer, and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead, and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. As, and as he thus spake for himself, Best is said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Much learning doeth thou make thee mad. But he said, I am not mad, most noble best, but speak with the words of truth and soberness. For the king knoweth of these things, behold whom also I speak freely. For I am persecuted, but none of these things are hidden from him. For this thing was done in the corner. King of Griffin, believeth thou the prophet? Oh, I know thou believest. I know thou believest. Then a Greek said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. And Paul said, I would to God that not only thou, but also all that hear me this day, for both almost and all together, all of the others, such as I am, accept these bonds. And when he had thus spoken, the king rose up, and the governor and Bernice and they that sat with him, and when they were gone aside, they talked between themselves, saying, right. This man doeth nothing worthy of death or bonds. And then said, O Griffith, and to Festus, This man might have been set liberty if he had not appealed unto Caesar. You know, as I was thinking about this, Brother David, my mind began to roll in my head. You know, he said, I think myself happy, King of Griffith, because I still answer for myself this day before right. being touching all things wherein I am accused of the Jews. Right. He said there in Peter, happy meaning blessed. He said, and this is what it said, First Peter 3 and 4, But, and if you suffer for righteous sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of the, their terror, neither be troubled. In other words, he said, however, how they treat you, don't be afraid right. of them, Junior. He said, let them treat you that way. You're going to suffer man. just like I did. Right. You're going to go through things like I did. You're going to be mocked. You're going to be persecuted. You're going to be kicked. You're going to be stumped. You're going to be skin up on because you put me first in your life. And if I went right. to it, you're going to do it. And, and don't think no thought what you should All say right. when the 
Oh, you say, oh, King, you can't save me. You can't save yourself. Oh, King, you can't do nothing to rule this old world in this area that you're over. Right. But I serve one that's over everything. Right. I serve one that's mightier than anything. Right. I choose, I choose, and I serve today. The King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Right. Come on. Yes, I, I was mean to the church. I persecuted them. But you know what? That day I found a man. He didn't care how bad I was. He didn't care how low I was. He didn't care about the things that I was doing in sin. Because he knew if he ever dealt with my heart that day. That they would all be wiped away. Man. Cast into the sea of forgetfulness. Never more to be brought up, O oh King. I've had my good times living in the world. But now I have better times serving the Lord. Right. right. I've been persecuted just like Jesus was. Yeah, Lord. I've been whipped with a whip many times for him. Yeah, mm. He told me to preach the gospel. And to show this lost generation right. that I'm living in the light. To turn them from the darkness. To turn them away from the things of Satan. Oh. And to turn them to Jesus because he's the light. And he's the only way we're going to get out of this world alive. Amen. Oh yeah, oh King, our, our soul is going to live over. Yeah, on right. and on and on. But let me tell you where mine's going to go. Mine's going to go be with Jesus. Right. We're going to praise Him forever, O King. But if you don't choose God today to serve Him, hell's going to be your home, O King. Right, man. You're going to be tormented night and day, O King. And you're going to be playing in your mind, O King, while you're burning in the flames. Or there's weeping and wailing and gnashing the teeth. Why didn't I listen to Paul that day instead of letting my heart get hardened and rebuking the, the, Jesus yeah, and not accepting Him as my Savior? You're going to be playing that over and over in your brain, O okay? King. Bless you, Lord. But I'm going to be a bear. Not just me, but others that accepted Him. Yeah. And you're going to see us worshiping our Savior, Jesus. He's sitting there on the right throne of the Father right now. Mm, my, 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 my. And we're going to be shouting, running, and leaping. Right, come on. Having things that we never had here on earth. Come on. Why you sit here on earth and make the fine things, for the fine things. And you're going to be tormented in them planes night and day. Right. Because, but I'm going to a city, O oh King. Yeah. All oh, that is made of gold. Walls of jasper. Gates of pearl, O oh King. Won't have to walk, won't be able, won't bed from the. I say, Master, I'm hungry. You say, What do you want? Never mind, I know what you want here to eat it, son. But you're going to be begging for a little drip of water. Yeah, it ain't going to be no water there, O King. You're just going to be tormented day and night. Day and night, O King. Right. This ain't the way I... It come to me earlier, but this is the way the Lord's leading me. Yeah, Lord. Somebody needs to take a warning today. You're in that predicament just like a king when it was that day when Paul appeared into him. Yep. Today, God's knocking on someone's heart. Amen. And I'm afraid to say, friend, this could be your last chance. That's right. This could be your last chance. And when I stand in before, before my father and he judges me, I will say, Lord, I told him that day. Now you're going to remember this. 
Just like that old king did Paul. Almost. I was that close. Yeah. But I let the tail were tricking me. Right. I worry about what my friends will say about me or think about me. Don't worry about what they're going to say or think about you. Pray right. to your old friends for some good Holy Ghost real friends. Amen. People that will teach you and guide right. you the right way. Lord. That follow God and you follow them as they follow God. All right. Almost won't get it, folks. That's right. There's old sin. Almost old intents and horseshoes and hand grenades. Horseshoe ain't going to get you to heaven. If that hand grenade goes off, you lost, it's going to send you to hell. Right. Serving Jesus has no luck. It ain't lucky. I ain't lucky, honey, to be serving him. I'm blessed. That's right. We're all blessed. That's right, amen. Luck has nothing to do with it. We're here on borrowed time. Borrowed time. Every yeah. breath we take is borrowed. That's right. Every heartbeat we take, that our body takes is borrowed. Yeah. Everything we see in the morning is borrowed. We're blessed. Amen. But yet we take it for granted. Yeah. We let the devil get in here and tear our minds up. It's just the door was talking about it all gone. And some people ain't strong enough to recognize it when it comes. Amen. They want to let everything, anything in that mind of theirs. That's right. And then after everything comes into that mind, they do what that devil tells them to do. Right. They, it. they get lost, go back into sin, right, and do the things of the world. And the power of God leaves them. The Holy Ghost leaves them. The sanctification leaves them. They're out sinning again, doing the things of the world, and they still think they're going to go to heaven. The devil's sagging back, marking you, balking you, and laughing at you. Yeah. And then when you get to hell, he's going to sit there, even though he's going to be tormented. He's going to say, huh, that's one God I didn't get. I got him. I stole him from God. Right. Honey, you ought to get enough of God in your body to Amen. recognize that devil, just like Paul had. Right. He, he had boldness. He told that devil. He passed out devils in yeah. the name of Jesus.
my head's been a busted. I come on anyway. There's ever been times I've got up and pulled with my head pounded. I preached on anyways. Because I love God more than I do. Right. Things of this world. Right. I could have rolled back over. Oh, I ain't going. My head's hurt. But I love God more than that. Lord. But I swore at 56 pounds I couldn't move too much. Hurt, ate. I had to sit down to preach. About six months after we started the old church. Right. I spoke to him. He told me what to do and I did it. told me to do this, and I did it. He said, do it, and I'll get the body. Just go look up here. 100, 170, 183 pounds. All right. right. I was on 14 minutes of twice a day. And I only got three twice a day. Don't tell me God, don't stick to his words as long as you do what you say. I'm just hearing 
Paul and tell the king, that's how you're going to have to meet the king if you want to go to heaven. But if you choose not to go, don't you tell me that you didn't hear the word. You can't stand before God and tell God you didn't hear it. To know there was a death because you did. Just because them Jews and them Gentiles, some of them Gentiles, thank God converted me and changed my life. I went back to them. Started telling them about the Lord. Telling them that they had better repent. I told them what Jesus told them. He said, oh, you generation of vipers, what, what has caused you to flee from the wrath to come? They didn't like it. That's why I'm here today, King. That's why the church is being persecuted today. They don't like what the Word of God has been preached on. But they line up to it, oh, King, just like you need to. They line up to it today. That what we preach and teach, they grow in the Lord. They will get a huffed up, puffed up spirit.
But I've been weak and sick. It's going to have that. See, I read over a little earlier in Acts there where Jesus did come to Paul. All right, come on. And Paul said, Lord, he asked him a question. Lord, what about how many of them? You read on down to where? And then I'm not asking the same question. And today you need to ask yourself this question. What will I do? Where will I spend the time? Will I accept Jesus today and go be with Him? Or will I deny Him and die lost and go to Him? Jesus has given you a choice today, man. Amen. The choice is yours. Do you want to accept it? Or do you want to deny it? See, when, when the Lord comes back, He's going to put all of His sheep on this side, and all those sinners, and all those that He knocked on their hearts door. And they didn't want to repent and chose the world, things of the world, on His left side. Or tell all of us on the right side, enter in thou good and faithful service. With the joy of the Lord. And on the right left side, you're going to tell them, depart from me, all ye workers of the new Right. I never knew you, and that would cast into hell. And you'll have laid a fire to burn and to be tormented. While you may have had good things over here on earth, they were but for a season. This punishment because you chose the good things of the world. Now you're praying your prize for not receiving me and accepting me, even though it, my way was hard sometimes and it was rough. But I can lead you through them things. And I can approach you through them valleys upon the mountain top. As I like to someone else that you could win. And because you didn't come and pray that day when I was knocking at your heart. Your family's in hell with you. Your loved ones are in hell with you. Your co-workers are in hell with you. Where I wanted you to be that witness to them when no one else would. Oh my. When Jesus knocks on your heart, you need to ask yourself some questions. Lord, if I reject you, I know I'm going to go to hell. But my kids are going to go too because they're going to follow after me. But if I choose you, Lord, I'm going to pray and put them in your hands and they're going to follow me. But most of all, they're going to follow you. Because I love them enough, I don't want to see them go to hell. And God's going to tell you, daughter, son, I love you enough that I gave you the very best thing I had. And he was my son, Jesus. And he walked among you people. And he talked to you behind. And he showed you the love of me, y'all. To y'all, and y'all rejected me when he was with y'all. Someone here today, or life is this could be your last choice. Right. And it very well may be your last choice. Mm -hmm. If you don't accept God today, He's going to turn you over to a resonated mind. He's going to turn you loose. He's going to be tired of dealing with you because you keep your chance and chance and chance and chance and chance and chance to repent. And you chose not to. This thing's real, folks. And then you're going to get to a point after he's turned you over. Where you're going to come and cry, cry, cry. And he's going to sit back. And he's going to be laughing at you. You say God's going to do that? I thought God was in love. 
I'll tell you something, he's a very jealous God too. He's a very jealous God. He's going to be sitting there laughing at you because he knocked and knocked yep. and knocked and pleaded with you to open that door and let him walk into your life. Right. And you rejected him and you kept putting that no vacancy sign on the door. No vacancy sign. No vacancy today for you, Lord. Go away. And then you're going to turn that vacancy sign around wanting him to come to you. That's when he's going to be sitting there laughing at you and mocking you. Just like the big king of the river. Sister Lord sang the song.
bless Heavenly Father, Lord, so we'll come to you, God, so we pray our prayer box to you once again this morning. Heavenly Father, God, you see the needs, Lord, you see those who just went in there, God. Heavenly Father, God, you know each and every need. We thank you for what you've done already doing, Lord. We thank you for uh, Billy Wayne, Lord, for coming back to you, Lord, God, and giving his heart back to you, Lord. Heavenly Father, God, we just thank you for Sister Sandy Cruz and Brother Morris, Lord, what you've done for them, God. And Lord, God, we thank you for what you've done for the rest of Brother Keith Garvin and Brother Matt Patrick, Lord. And God, all of those, Lord, that you've done already touched, that little girl you brought off the life support. Uh, God, we know there's more in there, God, that's on life support. There's more in there, God, that's got the, the old C word, God, but we don't claim that C word. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you, God, for that healing, Lord. And God, we just pray, God, you move upon the lost souls, the lost loved ones. Uh, Lord, save them, Lord God. Lord God, heal the sick. Lord, set the captive free. God, we ask right now, you said you sent your word, your word, heal of thee. And Lord God, you said by his stripes we were healed. And Lord God, we claim that today. And we ask God, Brother Tony's family members, Lord, that's in there. Lord, we pray, God, you save them, God. We ask you right now, God, in your son's precious name, God, we give you all praise. God, we give you all glory. God, I thank you for these three brothers that's anointed in Lord. And Lord, for two or three are gathered in your name, God. You said you was in the midst. And Lord God, you said whatsoever we ask in your name and faith believe in God, and it shall be done. And God, we believe in God. We thank you for it. God, we give you praise for it. Honor for it Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. Praise for it. We'll let our lives and audience know, amen, that we will be having church tonight at 6 o'clock. Amen. If you ain't got a home church and you're looking for a home church tonight, or if you're just looking to be in a service tonight, amen, come out and be with us out here at 1499 Birchville Road. Amen. We would love to have you. Amen. We would uh, uh, appreciate it. Amen. If you just come be in service with us, man, we just want to praise God and lift God up. Amen. Right. If you want to come, amen, you got a lost loved one, you want to bring them to church, bring them. Amen. We'll be... Uh, We'd be glad to have you, amen, tonight. Amen. Starts at 6 o'clock out here at 1499 Birchville Road. Also, uh, uh, September the 7th, we will be at uh, Houchins number 1. Amen. We'll be uh, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning. We'll be having a bake sale in the morning, amen. And then at that uh, evening, or 11 o'clock till 2 or a little after, we're going to be giving away hot dogs and chips and Cokes and uh popcorn and the bread of life. We're going to be giving away Jesus also. Amen. So we want you to come out and be with us. Amen. Come and get a hot dog. Amen. But you're going to get more than just a hot dog. Amen. You're going to know about Jesus Christ. If we just want to invite you to come out and be with us. Amen. And tell our live stream audience today that we appreciate you. We love you. Amen. We appreciate you for tuning us in. Uh, we got a sister down in uh, Tennessee. Amen. That said this was going to be her church from now on. Her live stream church. Amen. And we want to tell her we appreciate her, amen, and uh, glad to take to us in and listen to us, amen, all those that listen. We want you to come be with us tonight, and well, let's just come back tonight expecting God to do something, amen. Let's come back tonight and have our mind on Jesus, amen. Uh, pray for me that God would just give me the words to say, amen, tonight. Maybe he just come in and show out. We won't even have to have no preaching, amen. Wouldn't that be good again, amen, just have the Holy Ghost come in and just Man, some lost souls come in tonight, some visitors, amen, and see somebody get saved, amen. That would be worth it all, amen. But we appreciate you, we love you, and we want you to know that we won't be here this Sunday, amen. We will not be here next Sunday, amen. We will be gone, we will be down in Mississippi, amen. On Labor Day weekend, we'll be in Mississippi, amen. The church is all going down there, amen. We're all going to have a, uh, most of the church anyway, uh, we're going down there to have a good time in the Lord. Amen. We're going down there to, to uh, take the money that we've got off the cakes and all that stuff and bless them. Amen. And, and uh, we want to tell you, we really appreciate the help and the ones that helped and donated and bought. Amen. We really love you and we appreciate you for that. And uh, we want that's just tune us back in tonight at 6 o'clock if you can. God bless you is our prayer on the live stream.